Let's go. Okay. Thank you guys for tuning in to South Carolina's virtual campout. Um, it's a collaboration with South Carolina State Parks and the National Parks and the U.S. Forest, Forest Service uh, in South Carolina. So whether you're watching from your living room or your backyard, um, our nature um, that's here, our birds and wildlife, it's a little camera shy, so they're not really out. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to give you some pointers um, about if you want to get into nature watching. So I'm going to start off with some field guides. Um, they're pretty common and they're fairly easy to get, whether you buy them on Amazon or some other website online um, and oh by the way I'm Sam at Edisto Beach State Park um, my favorite one for birding um, is the National Geographic birds of the eastern North America um, and it has color photos um, kind of breaks it up visually um, based off of the type of bird so if you're into birding or you want to get into birding, um, you see birds in your backyard and you don't know what they are, this is a really good field guide for that. Um, Peterson's is another field guide um, that you can use. There's older editions or even the newer ones that you can use. Again, full colors, um, color pictures. Um, you want, if you're on the East Coast, you want the Eastern North America. Um, that kind of narrows things down. Um, <clears throat> if you're on the West Coast, then you want West Coast. Um, but they have North America. Um, that's just everything um, in North America. So depending on how serious you're, you are into it. Um, and they have these pocket naturalist guides too. Um, so if you are into hiking, um, camping, this is something that you don't have to lug a bunch of books around. Um, you could just have this with you. It's laminated. Um, this one is actually the wetland birds of the Ace Basin, which is where we currently are. So um, kind of perfect for the birds that we would have here. Um, and then this is your wading birds, um, your loons, your ducks, rails, um, raptors, so songbirds really good field guide to have um, that makes it easier um, it's kind of a, a <clears throat> learn as you go type thing um, you'll hopefully hear birds in the background but again they, they're pretty camera shy um, I'm still learning so I use these books all the time um, or even other apps to help me identify um, now if you ask me to identify a bird based off of the noise that it makes um, I cannot do that that's something that I'm still learning but there's apps for that um, um, another field guide that's pretty useful um, is Sibley's guide to trees um, so we're in the maritime forest it's pretty easy to identify the trees there's only a certain number um, of trees that kind of live in this habitat just based off of the fact that there's salt inundation and salty air so they're adapted for this um, but if you wanted to learn more about trees in the country um, or if you're in the midlands or up in the mountains you're gonna have different trees so this is a really good book to have as well if that was something that you were interested in um, full color shows you the leaves the bark it's a little bit easier here, um, so we mainly will just have oaks, pines, magnolias, hollies, palmettos. Um, so there's only a very small number of trees. Are the beaches open? Hmm? Are the beaches open now? The beaches are not open um, right now. We are hopefully opening um, May 1st. Um, so field guides are a really good thing to have. Um, but if you don't want to lug a bunch of books around um, or reference them, um, iNaturalist is a great app to have. Um, there's other apps like Merlin or Audubon that you can use. This is free. 
it could go on iPhone or Android um, where if you're sitting in your backyard and you see this bird or this plant or this bug um, you can just take a picture of it and it'll identify it to the best of its abilities there's AI involved so um, you can easily take a picture so I see stuff around parks that I don't know what it is so I use that app all the time um, really easy to download um, and it just identifies it for for you and if it doesn't have exactly how like exactly what it is then um, it'll kind of group it into one group um, and then somebody else can identify it for you so that's for birds, mammals, bugs, plants, trees, um, so anything. That's a really good tool to use, especially if you're in your backyard. So. Talk, talk about the beaches again. Someone asked about the beaches again. Um, so we'll kind of pause on that, and if there's questions. Any questions? Just about the park opening up. The park is scheduled to open up May 1st right now. Um, so we can't wait to have you guys out. Um, some other tools um, that you can use if you're in your backyard camping um, or if you're just hiking the trails um, or if you're camping at a state park when we do open. Um, binoculars are a really good tool to have, especially if you're into birding. Um, you hear something and you see movement, but you can't see it up close. Um, these are really beginner. Um, what is your favorite bird to watch? Um, my favorite bird to watch would have to be probably egrets and herons. Um, and then our um, eagles are really cool to watch. We have eagles, um, an eagle nest not too far from here, so we could see it over the salt marsh. Um, but binoculars, you want a power. Um, the first number is you want it either an 8 or a 10. Um, and then the other number, you want either 32 or 42. So these are like very beginner. Um, you can, they, they start out probably $25 and then it goes upward. So depending on how good of a binocular you want, then you'll spend a little bit more money. Um, so if you want to invest in that, that would be a good tool to have if you just wanted to watch nature out in your backyard. You could put up bird feeders, um, so that way you can kind of bring them in. Like I said earlier, our birds are not... Um, are painted bunion uh, present in, at Edisto? Um, I have not seen painted buntings yet. Um, they're supposed to be here. Um, they might be here already. They just haven't come to the feeders. Um, what park is this again? Edisto Beach State Park. So we're at Edisto Beach State Park. Um, just giving you a few pointers on watching nature in your backyard. Um, another thing that you could do if you, with your kids, um, or if you were just interested in nature, um, is nature journaling. Um, so this is just a, a field guide, um, but it takes on that nature journaling um, look. So you're out and you're curious about nature, you can draw to the best of your ability um, using uh, paint or even colored pencils. Um, that kind of puts it in your memory better um you know because me i like writing stuff down that's how i learn so there might be people more on the creative side um so this is a good way to learn about what's in your backyard or even when you're out in the parks um, so nature journaling is really cool um so you would kind of if you're really this tree right here is an oak um so you would draw the leaves and draw the bark um, and then kind of go back to your field guides or go use your app to identify it. Um, this is a good book to have if you're on the coast. It goes super in depth about everything here. Um, your maritime forest, your barrier island, your sea island, salt marsh. Um, it's called Tideland Treasure. 
um, by Todd Ballantyne. Um, really great book. So this would be something um, how you would do nature journaling. Um, you just kind of draw it, um, make notes um, about what it looks like, different colors, and then that way you can go back to one of your field guides and identify it that way. Um, so those are all tools that you can use while you're camping, while you're hiking trails, um, if you're in your backyard, just to learn. Um, you can even do that with your kids while they're at home. Um, that's something, and then turn it into a fun activity. Maybe make it into a scavenger hunt, you know, go find bugs, go find this. That way um, they can learn that way. Any questions? Um, so just to go over um, what I previously said for those tuning in, um, we're here at Edisto Beach State Park. Our nature isn't really cooperating, so there's not a whole lot of nature watching. Um, I mean, there's the trees, so that's nature, but as far as birds, um, they're kind of a little camera shy. Um, just gonna go over again. Um, so some things tools that you can use to help learn about your backyard animals or wherever you are in nature. Um, some field guides, so you have your birds of eastern North America, a couple of different ones. We have Nat Geo and then we have Peterson's and then you have your Sibley's Guide to Trees and then there's also your Pocket Naturalist Guide that's really good if you're on the go. Um, there's so many of these out. Um, this one just happens to be birds of the Ace Basin. Um, so they have ones on bugs, butterflies, trees. Um, but it's laminated, um, pretty heavy duty. So that's good if you're out and about um, and you can get it wet. And then um, we have iNaturalist, which is a great app. Um, super easy to use, free to use. Um, you create an account and you could just go take a picture of something and it identifies it. Yeah. Where could you purchase the naturalist guide? Um, you get them, you can get them on Amazon. I usually buy all of my um, guides on Amazon and you could get them used so it'll be a little bit cheaper than the full price. Um, but iNaturalist costs nothing. Um, so that would be equivalent to this. Um, it identifies it to the best of your ability. You just have to make sure you get a clear shot of it. Um, birds will be a little bit difficult, um, but amphibians, reptiles, mammals, um, that's all super easy. Um, and then if you wanted to invest in binoculars, um, these are a good starter. They're not the greatest, um, but you want the first number. Um, you want it at either eight or 10. Um, and then the second number, you want either a 32 or a 42. Those are the best ones um, for birding. Um, but if you just want to start out and be able to see a bird that might be right here, um, something like this, I think it's maybe 15 bucks online. Um, again, Amazon, I go to Amazon for all of this stuff. How do you obtain the app? Um, you would go to your app store. So with iNaturalist or any of um, Merlin, Audubon, any of those apps, uh, you go to your app store um, and then you type in iNaturalist, so it's lowercase i and then naturalist, and you download it, create an account using your email, um, and then you can just go right out in your backyard, your front yard, um, and start taking pictures. Um, that is all of the pointers um, that I have. So if what are the best trails at Edisto Beach State Park for nature watching? Um, probably the best one, you could either go out to our fishing dock, which is right down that path. Um, or I really like the, the Scott Creek Trail. Um, that's one of my favorites. It goes... Um, but it really depends on what you're looking for. Um, our Spanish Mountain Trail, the longest one, that goes completely through the Maritime Forest. So if you want woodland birds, that's a good spot. Um, 
if you want shorebirds, the beach, or some of our salt marsh areas would be best as well. Um, so it really just depends on what you're looking for, but all of our trails are really good. Um, so if, and if there's not any more questions, um, just want to repeat, thank you guys for tuning in to SC Virtual Campout. So hopefully those tips kind of helped you out or inspired you to go buy one of these field guides or use the app. Um, it's really a good, good tool to have just for learning in general. Um, I'm constantly learning here, so those I use those tools all the time um, to learn new things and bring that to my program. So thank you guys again for tuning in and um, keep watching for the rest of the program. So there's programs all day today, um, I think until 9 or 10 o'clock. So tune in for those and we'll see you soon.